Hey guys, it's Allstar, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install the mods for Universal Electricity 1.5. So, um, what we're going to need to do first is we're going to need to grab uh, MultiMC. And MultiMC is a really great tool. It's a custom launcher for Minecraft, and you can have multiple Minecraft instance instances. Ah, I said that really badly. You can have one for 1.5, you can have one for 1.47, you can have one for Universal Electricity. It's pretty cool. So, um... So yeah, you come to this website, you can Google it, just Google MultiMC, or I'll actually put the link in the description. You go there and you'll have three options here. You have the Mac OS, you have Linux, and you have Windows. I already have this installed, but what will happen is if you click this, um, oh, it just tells you how to install it. If you scroll down, I mean, um, you'll see that it has a download MultiMC button. You click that, you click on your, uh, your system, and it will open this up to an ad fly. And it will count down, of course. You gotta wait, you gotta be patient. And you click it. And then it will have a multi MC application that you could save anywhere. Now, what I do is I make a Minecraft folder on my desktop. And I have all my mod packs here I have a multi MC folder, an FTV one, and then I have the Technic launcher. So, multi MC, what happens is um, it's gonna save this application right here. And what will happen is when you open this, it's gonna generate a bunch of files. So, I recommend. You create a multi MC folder on your desktop like this. You put the you, you download the file and you put it inside the folder and then you open it. Because what will happen is it will it will create all these folders on your desktop and you do not want that. So I already have multi MC, so I'm not going to install that. So we're going to close out of this. We're going to minimize and we're going to open multi MC. So I'm going to close that and let's just do it together. Let's see Minecraft multi MC and then I'm going to open my multi MC uh, program. So uh, there's an update available. I'm just going to ignore that for now. And uh, I already created a Universal Electricity 1.5 um, working instance. I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, your own. So there's a little button up here called Add a New Instance. We're going to click that. And uh, it's going to give you an error. It's going to say that it can't determine the current Minecraft version number. That's OK. Um, we're going to click the Change Version button. We're going to make sure it's on 1.5.1. .1. And then we're going to type in, I'm typing UE15 tutorial. Alright, we're going to click OK. So um, what you're going to do now is before we start editing this uh, instance for Minecraft, we're going to actually go to the Universal Electricity uh, website. And uh, what you want to do is, uh, well before that actually, I forgot this important step. You want to go to edit mods. This is a button we're going to be using a lot for this uh, tutorial. We want to make sure we go to the right instance though. So make sure you're on the right instance. This is probably your first instance if you haven't installed it yet. You click edit mods and this is what's going to pop up. All right. So um, you have the Minecraft jar. You have core mods folder, a mods folder, and texture packs. We want to mess with the jar. So if you go to the jar, you'll see there's a MC Forge button right here. This makes it very simple to install Minecraft Forge. You don't have to go to their website and you don't have to search through all their downloads. You can just click it and it's going to load a list of um, all the Minecraft Forge uh, installations you can use. I'm going to use the latest. Okay. It's going to install it. And then I'm going to then go to the Universal Electricity website and install all the mods. Now, if this is a very important step because if you don't install the right mods, then you're going to have a lot of issues. Now, for basic components, you want to get the the green one. So if we go to basic components, now these should all work. The only mods that were giving me a hard time were biotech and assembly line. Uh, not assembly line, biotech and um, what was it? Oh, fluid mechanics. These two mods, you want to make sure you pick the right version because the latest ones are bugged or latest versions are actually working. So uh, you want to install the green. This is the one I installed right here. And I'll actually make a list of all the versions I use in the description. So if you want to get the right versions, make sure you uh, you go to the, the descriptions and check the number. And you want to install the number that I give you in the description. So make sure you get 13273. That's the one I have. And then for assembly line, you should be able to get the latest. So we're going to click download. And that should be, yeah, the latest should work just fine. So get the build number 108. And for atomic science, that should be the latest one as well. Or if there's a green one, you get the green one. So yeah, pretty much get the latest. Or if there's a green one, get the green one. But for biotech, don't get the don't get the green one. You want to get you want to get the latest one. 
you want to get um, this one right here, version 02131. 02130 has a bug that oh, it tries to make an item with the same ID as a pickaxe from regular Minecraft. So don't get that one. Uh, there's an actually no config file for this mod yet, so you can't really change that number. So get this version right here, build 31. And uh, like I said before, I'll have all these in the description. So for all the rest of these, you should be able to get the latest or the green. Uh, the only mod I wasn't able to get was Galacticraft because uh, the link wasn't letting me go to the download. It was just like being very slow, so I just ignored it altogether. And then Fluid Mechanics. This is one that was giving me a hard time. And I also clicked the green for this one, and it gave me some errors. Um, so make sure you get build 77 for this one. 74 is bugged. Um, so yeah. And then the last thing I did was I grabbed an extra mod, and this is on the Modular Power Suits page. And it's Modular Power Suits add-ons right here. So you want to install this link right here. This is the regular Modular Power Suits. You can see right here, Main MPS Download. And then you want to get this one too because it's really cool. You get some really cool stuff. You get the Auto Feeder, the Solar Generator, the Kinetic Generator, Item Magnet, Torch Holder, Portable Crafting Table. Really cool mod. Uh, make sure you grab that. And um, <clears throat> this, uh, th these are really, these are different than the other mods. Um, they take you to a, Jen a Jenkins page. I don't even know if I said that right. Jenkins, Jenkins, Jenkins. Blah. Um, this is very easy to get. It's kind of it's kind of confusing at first, but it's it's very easy. So you can see we have build number four twenty two, and you want to click this right here where it says dot jar. This will give you the download for that. And then uh, same with this one. You click the add ons, and it will take you to a page like this. And you want to get um. You want to get this one right here, build 10. You can see it says MPSA. That's that sounds for Modular Power Suits Add-ons 023 and 110. So uh, this is build 10 on uh, 110, and it says MPS 422. So if you remember, the other build was 422, as you can see right here. So these work together. So make sure you you get the right stuff, and then you just click that, and it should install. Okay. So what I did was on my desktop, I created a folder called UE15 and that's where I put all the mods and you can see I have some duplications in here as, uh, like the fluid mechanics this is the one that doesn't work you want the latest and for biotech I should have two as well so get rid of the old one okay so these are all the mods I have on my instance and uh, these other two are optional but I recommend you get them NEI Minecraft that's what I typed into Google you want to go to the first link right here and you want to get Code Chicken Core. So you just go to Code Chicken Core. You want to download that for 151. And then you go to Not Enough Items. And you want to install the one for 151 right here. Um, and then you should have everything for that. Now, this one's optional. A lot of people don't like Optifine anymore because they say it causes problems. You don't have to get this. This is what I use because uh, it helps me with my recording. I grab Ultra. Uh, it has all the features of standard, smooth, multi-core, and double A, highly configurable. So, uh, what you do is you just download it right here, and um, it should work. One five one right here, HD UD one. Okay, so I have all that in my folder right here. And now, what you want to do is you want to go back to your uh, multi MC edit mods thing, which is um, you just do edit mods for this, and it should give you this. And then um, what you do is you want to add your core mods first. So let's see. We need to grab Code Chicken Core. This is a core a core mod. So we're gonna grab that, and we're also gonna grab um, NEI. NEI is also a um, a core mod. And then I'm gonna add in my Opti Optifine for the Minecraft jar. This is a jar folder. This actually modifies vanilla classes, so you want to make sure this is in your jar. Um, and then the mod folder mods, which are all the other ones that I haven't got yet. So that's assembly line, basic components, electric expansion, pretty much all these, except Optifine. You don't want to click that. MPS, that's, we already have that right there. So I have duplication, so don't worry about that. Mine chem works, uh, mechanism generators, ICBM, fluid mechanics, complex machines, biotech, and atomic science. Okay, so that should be everything. We're going to open that, and it's going to add it all to onto this list right here. So there we go. We're going to close. 
and then we're going to hit play and this should work there shouldn't be any id confl uh, conflicts um the modders who work for the universal electricity mod pack like they try to make their ids work with all the other mods so this should be fine if there is id conflicts we'll go through them after we download um, the packages as you can see right now it's downloading minecraft and then after this it's going to install all the mods and there it goes so now it's going to go through the console and it's going to start configuring everything that we added to the lists and it will open hopefully all right now it's loaded okay so you can see we successfully loaded minecraft and it is in 1.5.1 there is no id conflicts the worlds should work you can see all the mods right here this is a working 1.5 universal electricity instance and hopefully this tutorial helped we're going to make a new world and we're going to see what happens so let's create a new world all right guys and we are in the world and we're going to get some extreme lag in the beginning because my computer just can't handle recording especially with camtasia camtasia and minecraft playing is terrible it just doesn't work that's why i use fraps but yep we're in a new world here everything looked like it loaded just fine we're going to open this up and we're going to check the nei and it looks like we've got let's see it looks like we've got everything here we got even some of the uh stuff from biotech here looks like we got the stuff from the power armor um uh, modular power suits i mean we have all the um what are these called complex machine blocks we have all the mechanism stuff assembly line fluid mechanics is working pretty cool we got atomic science working it looks like there's a texture issue right here unnamed hmm. yeah it looks like everything's here and it looks like it's working just fine so this is really cool i'm going to probably start using this for my um universal electricity until they update the amps pack uh looks like my kitten's working too this is a mod that i really want to get into Hopefully there's no ore generation involved. If there is any ore generation involved, I'm probably going to have to uh, make another portal and go really far out. It looks like we have, um, this is some of the new modular force field stuff. Looks really cool. Wow. And the osmium stuff. Yep, we are, we are getting there, guys. This is really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. So if I helped you out, um, wow, what is this? Unlimiter. All right, well, um, before I get distracted anymore, if this tutorial helped you, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I hope you guys get your stuff working. If you don't get it working and you happen to have some problems, uh, comment, leave comments, and I'll try to help you to the best of my ability. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, bros.